My name is Victor Luna. Um, I'm a designer, fashion designer, and I currently live here in Los Angeles. I was born in Mexico, in Guadalajara. I do usually two collections per year. I do all my samples myself. I sew everything. Uh, if I get orders, I do everything myself. Uh, it's pretty much a one-man band. During the summer of 2007, I remember I was very promiscuous. I was in New York, so I was young, having fun, meeting new people, and uh, really thinking that I was uh, invisible. Uh, nothing could happen to me. I remember I got the call from my doctor. He said we, we tested positive. He tried to calm me down by saying, you know, now you can live longer, blah, 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 which is true, but the only thing I could hear was me being positive. And it was a death sentence in my head. The way I overcame this fear uh, or terror of death was I knew someone who was positive. Knowing someone who has been living with it for a long time can help you understand how you could transcend and live further and, and move forward. When I was young, I was always doing what society tells you to do, go to school, get a job, things like that. But I think when I found out that I was HIV positive, I had a second chance of living and I was not gonna put it to waste. I wanted to make sure that everything I did was like jumping off the bridge. You're gonna land somewhere. You don't know where, but you're gonna land somewhere good and different. You realize the only thing that's important is you being a good person and being positive. Just leaving all that hate or all that stigma or all that negative energy, you start meeting other people and working with other people. So with me working with other designers, I've learned from them so much. I know how to do dresses that I never would dream of. Now I know how to drape, how to do beading, like any technique, I am open to it. When I was on Project Runway All-Stars, I decided to disclose my status because I really felt it was time. Um, I, wanted, I wanted that secret that I have to be out. I have an obligation as a public figure at that moment to let people know that <clears throat> you could be positive and you could be okay. I was tired of the stigma. When you vocalize it, it all goes away. You're making yourself kind of immune to it. I have nothing to hide. There is nothing for me to be ashamed of. I got a lot of calls, a lot of emails, and messages on social media, and it just felt like I'm getting chills. It felt good. It made me feel humble to know that people confide in me, telling me their own story. The Latino community is very misinformed uh, about sexual anything. It's almost like taboo. You can't talk about it at home. So that alone makes you search for information on your own, and that's where trouble comes. So being a kid growing up Latino in a Latino community, finding out about sex was in porn. It was not good. It scared me, and I was like, do I have to do that? Sex is such a serious topic that we don't talk about in the Latino community, and we need to talk more about it. It all starts in the family. I feel like the, the Latino community could be in a better place if they are more informed, and if they inform their, their children a little bit more. It will really prevent a lot of problems, especially with HIV. Finding the cure for me would mean Absolutely everything. I always think about young kids. I'm an adult, I could deal with punches. A young kid does not know what they're, what's happening. It is time to end this. It's time to bring the cure. It's time to, to have a new life, a new beginning for the youth.